what is an antenna see let me tell you what is the science behind antenna because you need to understand the electrical and electronics here whenever in a wire there is a fluctuating current you know there is an alternating current in different direction it is moving so electrons are moving whenever electrons are moving they are going to create the electric field whenever there is an electric field there will be a magnetic field so whenever we have this kind of alternating current the electrons are moving and a current with the time harmonic variation that is the alternating current here the electron gets accelerated and deaccelerated so it changes the electric field and the magnetic field and that how whenever whenever the electron electric and magnetic field will change there will be a production of electromagnetic waves there will be a creation of waves which are called the electromagnetic waves because of the electric electromagnetic field okay now when the electrons are moving fast the waves are faster they will be created faster they will be uh, running faster so the radio waves see whenever you have this uh, radio waves they, this is the input and sim simply wires are there bend the wire this will come out it will go to the free space right now the free space it can go anywhere it has a you know it has a pattern every every antenna has a pattern it has a diversity it, it has a direction it has a gain etc i'm talking about a general sense that these electromagnetic waves are coming out so when they come out they they come out with the speed of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now the speed is quite higher now there is there is a same type of antenna on the other side doing the reverse work that is the electromagnetic waves are coming when it is coming if it if the receiver can receive it and these electromagnetic waves can produce the electron to move the electron moving can create can create the voltage or the current whichever you want so this is how the reverse process work so transmitting antenna here the electromagnetic field is generated so that the waves goes on and on the other side things are on the on the you know reverse track so radio waves travel through the air at the speed of light antenna is also called as aerial when the waves arrive at the receiver station they make electrons vibrate inside it so the antenna also called the aerial i am giving you the definition now an antenna also called aerial is an electrical device that converts the electrical power into electromagnetic waves you can also call it as simply the radio waves and vice versa this is very important because antenna is both it is a transmitter it is a receiver also so again an antenna is a metallic structure that captures or and transmits radio electromagnetic waves or simply you can call it as radio waves or you can go also call it as electromagnetic waves so antenna is an electric device it is a metallic metallic structure captures and transmit the radio waves converts electro electric power into electromagnetic waves there are different types of antenna three broad categories let us discuss uh, this is the omnidirectional antenna this is the directional antenna and we have a semi directional antenna for example this one it is directing in two two sides so when it is all direction omnidirectional directional means single direction and when you have two or three we call it as the semi directional so let me show it here this is the isotropic antenna this is uh, say propagating or pro the electric uh, energy it is spreading everywhere the gain will be zero this is the isotropic antenna and this is physically not possible this is not possible and then we try the antenna makers they try to make an antenna to only point to one direction why because the receiver is also having uh, is in one direction it is not everywhere so you get a gain and that gain is some number for example 5 db is the gain so we have three type omnidirectional directional and semi directional let me tell you few things about uh, electromagnetic waves because in order to understand the the parameters of uh, antenna this is the wave structure this is how it goes now this wave the the tops are called the uh, crest the below are called the troughs the troughs and crest 
the distance between the crest and trough this is called the wavelength lambda represented by lambda now the central line by which these uh, wave is oscillating the distance from the central line is called the amplitude and the frequency frequency is number of oscillations per second and the reverse of that is the reciprocal of frequency is period frequency is uh, you know in hertz wavelength and others are in meter centimeter which are you want now there are different types of antenna depending upon the application or use so the broad category uh, is the omnidirectional antenna the directional antenna and the uh, semi directional antenna then you have the wire dipole loop wire monopole you have yagi and the horn antenna the micro strip antenna the corner reflector slot and the parabolic reflector which you generally see in you know, radio stations and tv stations and these are the dish antenna so these are the parabolic uh, dish antenna you know on your uh, you know television uh, reception also you'll see here so properties of uh, characters uh, or the characteristics of antenna it includes the antenna radio pattern the radiation intensity the directivity and the gain the radiation efficiency and the power gain the input impedance the effective length bandwidth all these are there and you, you know you, the effective aperture also the antenna polarization few of them I'm, we are going to discuss for example the directivity what is the directivity it is a measure of how focused an antenna coverage pattern is in a given direction this is how we represent an antenna now antenna can uh, propagate uh, or you can it can release the electromagnetic waves in different direction so some somewhere it is uh, sending higher somewhere it is less so the the main key is to actually focus it in one direction that is directivity also and that considers the gain also because of the directivity the gain comes so a theoretical loss less antenna element it is called as the isotropic element has a zero dbi i for isotropic directive gain uh, equally distributed in all the directions x y z all the direction that is everywhere in order to achieve a higher directive gain this is the directivity antennas are normally designed to focus or concentrate the antenna pattern only in the direction of the radio link because there will be a receiver you are sending to someone no so there has to be some receiver we cannot send send it anywhere else you have to do the azimuth and elevation then only you can send so you can maximize the energy you send then coming to the gain this is also you know very connected to the, with the directivity so the ratio of the signal usually we represent in db of received and transmitted power by a given antenna as compared to an isotropic or dipole antenna so you have the power of that antenna divided by the isotropic antenna that is the gain then comes the polarization so polarization every electromagnetic wave have two directions one direction it is going x the that is the electro electric wave electric field and perpendicular to that there, there will be a magnetic field so you can al always use the left hand rule to find out which is the direction now when the electrical and uh, the magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other the polarization is all about the electric field so whenever you are sending the receiver antenna has to be polarized it has to be in, in the direction of electric field otherwise if it is not in the direction there will be a polarization loss so it is polarization is defined as the orientation of the electric field of an electromagnetic wave then we have the radiation pattern radiation pattern is nothing but you know mostly the manufacturer does it and we also know, need to know it a chart of relative radiation intensity or you can just say the power versus the direction where is the power in which direction how much that is the radiation pattern that is the variation of the field intensity of an antenna as an angular function with respect to the axis okay so you have a, if you see here i am showing you the picture also this is the variation of the field intensity of any antenna as an angular uh, function with the respect to the uh, axis then coming to the antenna diversity so there are two main types of fading small scale fading and large scale fading and uh, mostly the number of bits per second or the baud rate that may create certain fading there are various other things like the multipath fading and most of the time the multipath fading considers the constructive and destructive 
the interference for example a wave that is the antenna the sender antenna you have a receiver antenna so this sender and receiver transmitter and receiver we are saying now this wave can follow different path so this path can be you know create a constructive interference it can also create a destructive interference so there will be a loss if it is destructive so in order to compensate that loss we need some diversity i hope you got the idea to mitigate the fading types uh, the small scale fading and large scale fading and to recover transmitted information at receiver end various diversity techniques are employed at mobile phone and base station even at the stat satellite station this is the antenna diversity so the multipath fading the fading because of the frequencies the uh, the there is also doppler shift there is also a problem of doppler shift so what we do we put three antennas for example i'm not saying only three i'm saying number of antennas so whichever is getting good signal strength that antenna input will be used the diversity type uh, are space diversity frequency diversity time diversity polarization diversity the pattern diversity directional diversity and the transmit receive diversity so in the 5g we know that we have gone to mimo that is the multiple in input multiple output so multiple uh, transmitters will be there multiple receivers will be there 